Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here to continue with our matrix track building exercise. Um, so basically, we've got the whole um, part over here for the bell layer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the loop markers over here to listen to how the bell layer sounds. I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to take the A2, I'm going to copy it over so that it starts right about there, and then I'm going to play through it. And I'm going to be updating this. Also update this. Okay, so our bell layer is finished now. Also going to go in here. Move the semi knob up to seven. Move the sustain down, move the decay up a little. Sounds pretty good, so I'm going to stop that. I'm going to close up Thor. I'm going to select all the devices that make up the bell layer. Right click, combine them. I'm going to call this our bell. I'm also going to remove these because I don't like labels on things that aren't assigned. Okay, let's close that. And there's our bell layer. Can also close the hi hats because we're all done with those. So now we've got pretty much all of the uh, components of our song. So we'll go into the sequencer here. And what I'm also going to do on the sequencer, I'm going to take this chord patch and I'm going to move it in here. I'm going to take this, move it over here so it trails off a little bit. And that's going to sound like this. So that just creates a nice little outro there. I'm also going to move the BPM up to 100 again because I kind of like it there. And um, let's see, we're also going to take this bass line and copy this so that it goes over here, right about there. I'm also going to take these two, copy them. And this time I'm going to copy them right there. I'm going to take one more, I'm going to copy it so that it goes out, like that. Okay, and that's going to create our outro. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, and I'm going to actually slice them up a little bit. I'm going to slice them right down here. If you click up here on the bar, it'll slice everything straight down on the bar itself. And that's kind of a nice little handy tool, if you want. And I'm going to take just the drum section move it out a little bit and um, let's see how that sounds okay that sounds pretty good so we're going to do the same thing in the next set of bars which is over here I'm going to do that right there so we'll take this, take this out, and this creates just a little bit of a break. And one more time, we're going to do it over here. And again, we're going to select these, and we're going to bring them just to break a little bit. Okay, and we're also going to do the same thing over here. So we'll do the same thing by cutting it right here. 
cutting it right here and cutting it right there on the kick. And take that, take these, take these. There you go. So this is what it's going to sound like. sounds pretty good. Um, now what we'll need is we'll need to have a little bit more of an outro so let's take this let's copy this over one more time copy it over here move this in here move these are the chords remember so we're gonna play that and see how that sounds sounds pretty good but it needs something more so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our little slice tool I'm gonna slice down here and create that section and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it actually yeah I'm gonna take that I'm gonna copy it over and bring it right there so now it's gonna sound like this <laughs> course we will need some drums so let's bring the drums back in right about here now let's bring them in right about there take this over there and that should be pretty much it naturally trails off right about here so we'll take our end marker we'll bring it back to there which is at bar 80 and that makes our song a total of three minutes and nine seconds and there's our complete song in a nutshell so come back to my site at reason101.net and I will make these files available to you so that you can play around with them a little bit you can remix it you can do what you want with it and this is basically how you create an entire track using matrixes. Hope you've enjoyed the journey. Um, I've definitely enjoyed creating it for you. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. And uh, again, come visit me and I will be um, trying to do some more tutorials for you so that uh, we can create some more different things along the way. Thanks for watching.